until I can't no more. I got the horses in the back. Horse stock is a tank. Hi everyone and welcome to Protocol 36. Today's video, I'll be answering a question some people had when Spider-Man Homecoming was released and a question some people still have today. In school when Ned told Peter that he would be coming over after school to finish off the Lego Death Star, Peter's attention was all on Liz, who was his love interest at the time, and blindly tells Ned that'd be great, which then led to Peter. After trying to stop the bank robbers and saving Dharma, he goes home surprised to see Ned in his room, which caused many people to wonder why didn't Peter Spidersense tell Peter that Ned was in his room? To answer that question, we have to go into what the spider sense does. As we all know that the spider sense gives Peter a tingling sensation at the back of his skull when there's potential or immediate danger, making it precognition in a way. The spider sense can also warn him of nearby danger, so it doesn't have to be direct or personal, which comes in handy for a hero like Spider-Man. The spider sense can also be used like Daredevil's radar sense, as he's able to scan the area around him, also able to detect strangers when he's getting changed in alleyways. And when using his spider sense, he's able to find small objects or even people, as he does in the back in black storyline. However, as powerful as the spider sense is, it cannot do two things. It cannot detect symbiotes like Venom or Carnage, as the Venom symbiote attached itself to Peter. It caused the spider sense to not identify it as a threat, which is why Peter is not able to sense Venom's attacks and also isn't able to detect carnages because of the symbiote being an offspring of Venom. And secondly, it does not react to Peter's friends or family like Art May or other fellow heroes in the Marvel Universe. Applying what we know in the comics to the MCU, as the spider sense in the respective universe does not seem to be that different. It is spider sense, there isn't much you can change if we're being honest. Just that Peter in Homecoming is a less experienced and hasn't mastered his abilities like his comic book counterpart or like he does in later films like Far From Home and that he needs movable lenses to lessen the tension his spider sense gives out which helps him focus as he explained in Captain America Civil War. It's not something he must have but it is something very useful to him. When it comes to the spider sense scene in Homecoming, the reason his spider sense does not react to Ned was simply because Ned was not a threat to Peter. Spider sense react to danger and strangers. Ned and even Aunt May towards the end of the film are not just people to Peter, they're his loved ones. If Ned, for example, for some reason, threw the Lego Death Star at Peter without him looking, then yeah, it would definitely warn Peter. However, it is worth to note that Spider Sense is pretty much one of, if not the most inconsistent power in all of comics. Though its main purpose has always been intact, and that is to alert Peter of incoming danger. If Peter wanted to, he can focus on his Spider Sense like Daredevil with his radar sense, and scan his room, and then he will be able to spot Ned. But it's not something he can casually do, and at this point, Peter is very, very inexperienced only having his powers for 8 months at that point in the MCU. However, what about you guys? Do you agree with what I said? Did you already know this? Or do you disagree? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this, please like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to begin Protocol 36.